Island Boy. You ready? <laughs> All right, you ready? Hard Lord Time. Oh. Hard yeah. Lord Time. Remix coming. <laughs> the, uh, what was the one yesterday? Bring me a Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. Oh. All right, ready, Sean? Hello, welcome. It's Hard Lord Time. We are live from Cambridge, Massachusetts at America's Hardcore Fest. What's up, Bowen? Diet Coca Cola from McDonald's. <laughs> That's how I'm doing. That was fing tragic. It's over there. <laughs> it's we, all the way over but there. But other than that, after that, I need to talk about our very special guest. We, Who do we got? We've got Mike Dirt from Tsunami, yeah, San sorry. Jose legend. Hell yeah. Welcome to the show. How's it going? It's going it's great. Going how are you? Well. Fuck yeah, I'm doing good. You played so good earlier. Thank you. That did you guys awesome. play? Did you play with one guitar player? Yes. He's, okay. We've always only had one. Oh, guitar I'm player. sorry, my mistake. I thought I heard two people playing. No, that's him. That's Sound of Fury, guy. one of the best live guitar tones I've ever heard Thank during you. tsunami, and I, I don't that. say that lightly. What are you playing up there? It's a signal splitter, and it played through a triple rec and a JCM 800 at the same time. Love wow, a, love a JCM 800. Yes. No kidding. It sounded. Immense. It was awesome. G- genuinely sounded so good. So, so most of that like, was the homegirl Liz. She jumped on and did sound for us for that for that song. Front of house legend. Oh. Yeah, where legend. Did she, where'd she do sound? She did it at Gilman for a while, right? Yes. And now she does it. I I know Linda's. I know the girl from Gilman. Yeah, I know yeah. Exactly who you mean. Wow. First Thank time you. in Boston. How, how did you have a good time? Yes, I ate some bomb food earlier. McDonald's. McDonald's. No. Yeah. McDonald's. Mid. How but, could you say that? <laughs> Do you know where we? Are? I ate that last night. Earlier, they take us to Roxy's Grilled Cheese. Oh, yeah. Austin was talking Schmackin'. about that. Schmackin'? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you get? A little grilled, grilled cheese? cheese? It's like a cheese steak, like a grilled cheese with steak. Oh, that sounds low. That's way more than a Hell Hella greasy. Hell good. Mm, yeah. Soup? You get some soup? No, I didn't. Fries? No, nothing. Just the... Do you have a Coke? No, I'm not a soda person. Who is this I man? Uh, wh- how do we keep finding these no soda people? I like, I like soda water, like sparkling water. That's my shit. Well, that's fine. Yeah, well, that's I'm, we're with, we're that's on board. Soda. Yeah. We're on board. That's soda. How old are you? 29. Okay, good. Right Tell around us. Tell us about uh, coming up in San Jose, HC. Uh, I actually am not from San Jose. I'm from a little spot called Hollister. It's like an hour south. You're familiar with the shirts. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with the uh, different. Uh, they sued our city and won. They say you can't sell shirts to say Hollister. Are you serious? Yeah. What? Unreal. They had the worst dressing rooms of all time. Though. Oh, yeah. I bet they smelled uh, pretty good. Though. They smelled amazing, but they were like cloth. It was insane. Um, how far is that from San Jose? It's like an hour south. Okay. Okay. But in the hardcore, best. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. What was, big, what was big for you at that time? Like, what brought you in? Um... I was more into like death metal type stuff growing up, but then my some friends from high school kind of took me to this band called Heavy Heavy Lolo. Yeah, played a show. Mm-hmm. Sure, and it was just pretty chaotic, and I just kind of fell in love with the energy of it. And that was kind of big in San Jose, like metalcore type shit, for a long time. I can hear it in your around roots. around what time yeah. was that? Like oh nine. Interesting. No, probably like oh eight oh eight. So oh eight was the first time. My band went out there, but we played with In Disgust and Weekend Nachos in the Locust Street house. Oh, yes. People still talk about that show. Wow. It's awesome. See, it was harm's, f- fuck, yeah. it was harm's, harm's Way Weekend Nachos at the... Yes. It was incredible. And there's a place called El Rancho in a liquor store. Oh, I live, I live, uh, I live right down the street from Locust House. That's like on the same block as my house. Do they still serve food? Yes. Is it still incredible? I haven't. I I go to the. Ta- there's a taqueria right next door to my okay. house, so I never okay. go to. The, well, the to thing the thing there was uh, chicken quesadillas. It's covered in like lime. Mm. Oh my good god! Say no more. Outside. Can't go wrong with Mexican food in San Jose. Can't go wrong with it's Mexican true. food. You can. Outside of California, I won't uh, try it. You, well, count, count. he rides for Chicago Mexican food. He really does. He's uh, crazy. Thirty percent uh, of this city. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't enough. Probably. What were your bands before Tsunami? Have we ever played together prior to this? No, I think the first time we played together was when I was already Hands of God. Oh, big fan. Yes. Mm. Gotta, it's, it's time. You know. I agree. I was telling him. <laughs> I'm going to make it happen. Let's make it happen. Who do I got to talk to? Jaffe? Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. I'll hold a meeting. The council has decided it's All time. Right. <laughs> okay? All right, let's do it. It's not up for debate anymore. It's time. Sammy agreed too. We talked to him about it too. Yeah, you know he was like, "Oh yeah, man, it's on." <laughs> <laughs> You're not in Drain anymore, right? No, I think I did three. I just did three tours with them. 
total? Yeah. Oh, wow. I wrote one song with them. Hey. Hell yeah. Got the points. So, sometimes yes, that's sir. all it takes. It's all it takes. You contribute it. Now they're going to go their own way, and you got Tsunami taking yeah. over the world. <laughs> bring, in, bring in some wild folks to the, to the HG oh, shows. Oh, yeah. Huh? What'd you say? What was, what was your. Tsunami uh, don't play shows, they play concerts. Hell yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> It's a whole different crowd of people that you never, I never seen before. But it's like, it's awesome, because then they see they come to see Tsunami because of a TikTok they saw or something, oh, and then they come to shows the rest of their life. Hopefully, I was just gonna ask how, where do you attribute that from? Like, how do people like that find Tsunami? I don't. Probably like you said, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, that's gonna be the thing. It's going. It has been, but it's going to remain the thing for quite a while. I All I know about those kids is I don't know where this is coming from, but they cannot believe the trip pants. They love tripping. Tri- pants. This is crazy. What are tri- Jinkos and shit? You know, like the big zippers and. Oh shit! They always got some big old pants and little shirts on. Those are back. They're back, man. For I tsunami seen fans, they are. It's awesome. Baggy ass pants. Hell yeah, dude! Wow. Your writing process is very spur of the moment. As I've come to understand, oh yeah, you'll just be playing and you'll be like, "I guess this is cool." Well, I go, record uh, it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's just we. Yeah, we just booked the studio time and then came the second time we did the tsunami stuff. Our guy was like, "Yo, you actually have stuff this time, right?" Otherwise, I don't want to do it. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I got it," but I didn't. I just did it right on the. So spot. you're telling me the bum bum bam wow bum 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 bam boot it. Was oh, spur yeah. of the moment thing. Yeah, me and Ben did that in the studio. Dude, that's an unbelievable. Where'd thing. you get that idea from? Can you recall? Just trying to be like, yo, this makes it, like it's just a stupid ass riff that makes no sense. Yeah, that's and what it I just like. Work. <laughs> what? Uh, I guess we'll go. We'll go to this question just because we're under riffs and stuff. But there's a there's a question we've been asking every guest that COA brought to us, which is, who do you do? We're like, I'm doing t- I'm doing Pete Steele and Jonah Jenkins. Who are you doing? Bless it, thou. Bless you, sinner. Do I'm doing Danny Schuler and Mickey Ooh. D and uh, Sal Abriscado. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Who does Mike Dirt do? I don't know their names, but Homeboys from Cannibal Corpse, of course. Okay. Legends. Well, Eric. now it's Eric. Eric. Oh yeah, Eric. yeah, Eric Rutan. And who's the other guitar player's name? I don't know. The homie. I don't know. The guy who isn't Pat. The homie from Cannibal Corpse. Pat too. He's got riffs. What's next for Tsunami? Columbia next uh, next weekend. This will oh, be that. That was months ago. By oh, the time people a few see months it. ago we hit Columbia. How was Columbia? It was awesome. It was awesome. awesome. Had time of my life. Sick, dude. The tsunami is growing at an incredible rate. It's awesome. It's crazy. You guys were one of the bands where the pandemic was just kind of this magical thing for you. Oh yeah, the pandemic was the was RBS awesome. thing like your second show or something. Yes. And that was that was like a headlining set. It looked like <laughs> like a li- like a life altering set. So you guys are just one of those, like you and Gulch and Drain, for some reason. It was like those. Scowl, too. Scowl, big time. Yeah, the pandemic Dude, it, was, was kind to all four of you. But it also happens. I mean, Boston was that for a while. You know, like lock it out. You know, pandemic or not, I'm saying like there was a time and place where like every band that came out of Boston. Yeah. Was just, like, and, and I, I don't even pop. know if it was if it was about the geographical aspect of it. It was right. just something right. time and place musically. You were exactly what people were looking for and exactly what people didn't know they were looking for. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here you are headlining your first Boston show, basically. Hell yeah. You know? Yeah. And there was a lot of people there. We, we got there before you guys played. A lot of people there. And there's what six, seven tsunami songs out. I believe eight, maybe. No, I think there's nine. See, that's and that's like that's it. You can play the whole discog as a headlining yeah. set, and you're done. Which is yep. the dream, by the that's way. That's the dream. That's dude. And a lot of them are under two minutes, right? Or yeah, one of them's only like 25 seconds. <sighs> Huge game changer. Hell Good yeah, for you man. Uh, I, I'd say it's LP time. Oh yeah. You? It, I agree. I think the on people the spot are, improv LP. I oh. wish I'm actually spending my time writing this one, and I'm ha- uh, it's not going too well. Oh, we'll look at that! Hey. I mean, the songs are coming, but it's writing. This is my first time writing an LP. And I didn't realize how much goes into writing an LP. It's mm. a lot. It's man. Crazy. I have a lot of respect for people that put out multiple LPs. I think it's important, especially when Tsunami has worked so well so far, to not really change your thing you know oh, yeah. your process shouldn't change too much. i agree like you can evolve it it can you can do a better version of the thing you've been doing but like, bring rough ideas and then play them together but if yeah if that's thing. what's working then maybe don't fuck with it that's what i've been thinking too 
we still got a lot of songs to experiment with. You do. How many, What are you aiming for total? Like nine or ten? Like nine. Yeah. Eight or nine. Yeah, that's good. Nine and a re-recording, maybe. You know, easy. Like nine, maybe eight new ones. Yeah, right. we've already done the re-recording though, and some people were like, "I hate when they fucking re." People say Who that cares? we've done Armsway has done that, and it, there was the two seven-inch songs, and we re-recorded them, and they were always. It's always yeah. like ah. But it's just like there's going to be songs that you want to play forever. Nah. Yeah. EPs inevitably <laughs> get forgotten. Whether you want to or not. Whether you want to or not. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, the, it, inevitably, every EP gets forgotten. It gets lost in the discography. And like Tsunami is at the point where you could be a band forever. You could be like a career hardcore band. Hell like, yeah. On wood. But <laughs> you could do it. So there's going to be songs on these EPs that you want to play forever. So maybe save them for LP2. Or oh, yeah, that's, true. That's Damn, I don't even want to think about LP2 right now. It's oh, going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is, has it been announced yet who's putting out LP1? Oh, yeah, Triple B. Beautiful. Shout out Triple, Triple B, B Records, Records. Best record label. Love them. Ask him the question, Colin. The, the Golden, Golden Arches question. Wow. Oh, fuck. Here's a big question. Europe only. <laughs> no, no, no. No, well, no, no. There's a greater aspect yeah, to the yeah, Golden yeah. Archers question, but the, you know what a hard lore is all about. We're all about eating good. Oh, yeah. And when you're here, you're here. You're here. You're cruising down the highway. You're like, hey, foo, get off. I got to eat this. There's a big sign with all them logos on it. What's the thing that Mike Dirt sees where he says, guys, I got to stop. We got to stop and eat this. Oh, raising canes, easy. A caniac. Yeah, Instant. me and Theo, caniacs. Theo's the same. Oh yeah, we ha- we have a lot of Caniacs. That's a, that's a common. I'd say probably the most common. Every answer. other. I think it's because yeah. we don't have it. There's none in the Bay Area, so yes. when we get it, it's like yeah. we right, just we got, got one in LA. Oh, huge dude. We just the got lines one are probably crazy. I've not gone yet because I'm, I'm scared of the line. We just got one in Chicago too. Is it fucked in, insane? It's at Wrigley, so it's always gonna be. Insane. Oh God, yeah. fuck that. Yeah. What do you eat at home? You 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 cook? Yes. What's that like? Uh, Trader know. Joe's. The frozen meals, goaded. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sammy said the same thing. Cooks at home. Trader literally Joe's. Did. Yeah, I just go to Trader Joe's, man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Do you sure, like man. cooking? Yes, I enjoy it. I love cooking. I got really into cooking over the pandemic. This guy. Can't do it, man. You don't like cooking? He doesn't oh, know how to work a microwave. That, it's not can that. You I, can it? work, I don't have a microwave, by the way. <laughs> I got a soda fridge instead where it goes. You do the air so, fryer? So I do the air fryer. I the but air, also, I, I, have the, I use the oven. You know, but That's the same thing. Well, no, because the air fryer is a convection oven. Yeah, I use both. Yeah. It's like I, so if I need to air fry something, I'll air fry something, but generally I'm going to cook something. Here's what I don't like. Cleaning, cleaning a fucking up. pot and pan after. You gotta it's clean. easy. Yeah. If it's still hot, it's still it's hell easy to clean it while you it's hot. You do it while you're cooking, really. But that seems like... It I, feels great. I turn the water on and it sizzles like it's scared. <laughs> <laughs> that seems wrong. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Dude, I have an air fryer that I can turn on with my Alexa. It's insane. I didn't buy it because of that, but I figured out it could. Mm. You literally, I call it Crispifer. You're sick. Uh, and I say, Alexa, turn on Crispifer, and it goes, Beep! You're sick. In the brain. <laughs> Anything you want to leave the people with today, Mike? Um, 